next match here. We've got a council member in the hot seat, Ziglet taking on Sully. Absolutely, we're going to be seeing some Kazuya versus Pokemon Trainer. And well, with Pokemon Trainer, it's always an unexpected bag of tricks because you never really know what you're going to be getting. You could see somebody who's super proficient with Squirtle. You could see somebody who's super proficient with Zard. We'll never know until we get into it, but already off the bat, 47% Skiff. That's really good. Yeah, I mean, Squirtle does that to just about anybody. It's kind of the same thing that we were talking about with Peach. Uh, every character is almost a heavy when you're fighting Squirtle, right? Because they just put down so much damage. Damage, but speaking of damage output, look at what um, uh, Ziglet's doing here now. It's absolutely popping off here. After the got that one opening on Squirtle, forced to switch, and now they've got this bigger hitbox to just beat up. Yeah, and I love how consistent we're already seeing Ziglet being with these Electric Wind Godfists. They've they've just been hitting them every single time so far to get the follow-ups out of these different moves. And, well, that's obviously, like, the first thing that you're going to be looking for as the mark of a good Kazuya player. Can they do the inputs? And the answer here is obviously yes. Now they have Rage Drive active, so they're going to be looking for either that downbeat or that command grab to take out Sully's stock here. They'd be trying to switch to Charizard to stay alive a little bit longer, but I promise at 147, you're not living through a Rage Drive. Oh, okay, it's just a matter of getting down now that Rage Drive is still active, and they're looking for a way in to somehow don't get caught. That should definitely get rid of it. It will, but they will survive a little bit longer here. Gotta keep in mind, Kazuya is a hefty, hefty boy, and still finding a way to survive here just a little bit longer. Yeah, and they actually find the sliding F tilt. You said Kazuya is heavy, and yes, he is the ninth heaviest character in the game, but it's not going to be enough to live through that Charizard F tilt at 150%. And now, Sully definitely not stopping anytime soon. They almost find the dare. They get beat out by that up B from Kazuya, though. So they are going to be able to find their way back to stage. Zig uh, Ziglet gets a second lease on life, and he gets that F tilt, that this is Sparta kick to send Sully to the blast zone. Yeah, that is the super <laughs> Ganondorf F tilt with the way that sends out. You just, you just teleport to the blast zone pretty much. But That's either what way, I wish Ganon F tilt was. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good move. Don't get me wrong, but oh my goodness, put 47 on him immediately with that rage drive. Great stuff. And I also do like the fact how they're using the... Ooh, He's going to oh. die. He's going to yeah. die. This is, this is not, this this is very, not good. Okay. okay. I so like... So I, I, I really like the uh, the the, uh, the ledge drop into the I believe that was Uppy uh, above the stage to, to try and beat him off the ledge because if he didn't and he ate that F tilt he was gonna die but it's not gonna matter because the Hell Sweep finds its mark. I feel like we don't see that option from Kazuya too often so to see Ziglet kind of come out here and you know make that option shine and just you know get some kills out of it get some use I, I'm, I'm kind of happy you know. <laughs> If you get if if you get crumpled on the ledge versus Kazuya, you die. As long as yeah, the Kazuya yeah. knows how to do Hell Sweep, and it's not the hardest of inputs, it's I, easy. You're, you're it's so gone. easy. You're gone. Wow, uh, I'm surprised they went for the down throw originally, but uh, weren't able to get the stock off that. But found a down there either way. So hey, great stuff to Sully so far. And we're gonna see that Squirtle come back out here, putting on that damage. Gonna chase Kazuya down. Ooh, finds a way out though. Oh, this is big. Uh, it's not as big as maybe you thought it was going to be. She just EWGF'd in place three times. Hey, hey, listen, you know what? Sometimes Squirtles are a little bit crazy. They just kind of go in there for it, and you can find a way to punish them, you know? Yeah, looking for that down smash on ledge, too, trying to get that uh, that spike to kill. I, I bullet seed actually getting used? What is this? Uh, yeah, it's been a couple times, too, but there we go. Big damage on the board, 85%. Ooh, I like the wave dash all the way over. No, you threw it all the way with the down air and just, I don't know, they just didn't react. They, maybe they tried pressing the jump button and then they just realized it was too late to make it back. I don't know what happened. They just kind of put the controller down, maybe, but either way, we're going to get in the game, too. I like the, uh, the, the imagery of like you get hit by something and then you just like set your controller down on the ground listen, listen some of the ways that kazuya hits you i i i wouldn't blame him for it but that oh, wasn't no, like i i did that <laughs> i i've done it before but um, like the thing is is that kazuya didn't hit him there that was just him throwing himself off stage and wasn't able to recover properly yeah uh, it is what it is, though. We're going to be going into game number two. I don't think I saw any coaching take place during uh, this interim, uh, but we do see the skin swap up from Ziglet going to the uh, the suited Kazuya instead of the shirtless Kazuya, because I guess Small Battlefield is a little bit more of a formal affair than PS2. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Just going to get right into that Squirtle combo. Finds a way out, though, and that's going to be huge. Oh, that's going to be huge, too. Actually, no, they find a way out, too. This is all this is crazy right now. Both these players trying to get these big combos started and just not able to capitalize properly on it. 
And now trying to find something to get going here, but 71%. Like, it's not going to be too hard for Kazuya to bake that distance back, but it's not going to be easy, that's for certain. And as I say that, he gets caught by that. No! Great Pokemon switch into the bullet seed to be able to find that, and this could be the stock here in a second. And yes, baits out the air dodge by putting pressure on him with the second jump, and then just waits patiently for the up air. What? They were talking about that forward smash. That forward smash is so lethal the way it hits. Got some armor on it too. But, you know, Sully had some good awareness just recognizing they don't want to be there anymore and got the hell out of Dodge. But, hey, sometimes you still get caught in some scenarios. Oh, just barely missing out on the laser. It was a great call out, but a little too early. At 120%, though, I don't see uh, Ivysaur living too much longer, but maybe I'll get proven wrong here as they're finding a whole lot of damage already. Great down throw up B as well. Now has Kazuya Deep off stage. Oh, but that's going to be the crumple. Yeah, and there's the hell sweep. Yeah, great stuff, and that's honestly what you needed because all of a sudden, Sully was putting down a whole lot of damage, getting a bunch of extra credit, taking a stock in the process as soon as they respawned with that Charizard. And man, Charizard's just a wild character sometimes too, but there we go, that's a big start there. Man, you are praying for that. You are hoping way too much. Yeah, does manage to find the dash attack to chase after Sully pops out of the EWGF, but now Sully's back on stage, back with his feet underneath him, and Skiff, remember at the start of this set when I said I wonder what kind of PT player Sully is? He's he's an Ivysaur player. Oh, 100%. I, can tell. I mean, Ivysaur is, is honestly such a strong character. can answer so many different options, so many different uh, ways that a, a player could approach them. And has a couple strong edge guarding tools, too, for characters like Kazuya, who kind of are a little bit linear in their recoveries. And there we go. We're going to see that back throw off stage. Weird scenario there. Okay. Oh, he's <laughs> just a dive off stage. <laughs> It's not going to kill quite yet, but that Rage Drive definitely does put the fear of something into you when you get hit by it. Parries one of the hits of the Flamethrower and gets caught by Fair. That's going to be the stock. Yep. That's going to be the game. That's going to be the set. And Ziglet goes down 2-0 to Sully. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. Uh, Sully wait, doing no, a, that's 1-1. One, one. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, because, uh, because remember he, he threw that stock yeah, away at the end? Yeah, yeah, well, So we're going to get the game myself. Three. Um, Sully definitely playing with a chip on their shoulder in that game two. Definitely wanting to prove that game one was a little bit of a fluke, but I'm not going to take anything from Ziggler because they do have got some nice conversions and their inputs have been really clean so far. It's just a matter of cleaning up, like, where they're placed and just trying to make sure that they're connected. Yeah, for sure, and we're, we're also back to Shirtless Kazuya, also back to PS2. Uh, so that might not bode too well for Sully if they're not careful, because as we know, that is all that determined the outcome of game number one. It was nothing else. <laughs> yeah, for sure, right? Uh, you still have to take two stocks, even if your opponent throws one of them away. Oh, that's a tough spot to be in, though. You're forced to recover high using the laser to stall. That was super smart. Very, very smart indeed, Skiff. Now tries to go for the deep. Darren ends up SDing. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that was um, he, <laughs> a little He waited a little bit you know? too long. Yeah, it was kind of like a, a, not a repeat, but definitely, you know, kind of donating a stock back, if you will. But you know what? Even at that point, 71% on a Squirtle is not bad when you hurt like Kazuya does. So we'll see if they can find a way to clean this up here a little bit, but not without taking some damage in the process last. This is looking a little bit dangerous here. I feel like Ziggler might have lost their groove. Oh, yeah. Now they're just kind of getting comboed from one side of the stage to the other. No respite to be found so far. Off stage again, the Ivysaur comes back out. At 93%, I don't see them living too much longer, but Sully could definitely be dropping the stock here soon themselves. And I, there it is again. I love that ledge drop and then the vine whip to be able to cover uh, him looking for the, the get up option with the F tilt. And now Ooh. Rage Drive's gone. No opportunity to use it. And I like that turnaround there. I don't know if it was definitely intentional, but it definitely worked out for him. And gonna find that forward tilt to close out that stock. And we can certainly see the holes being poked in the Ziglet's game plan here, especially with Charizard out there, man. Charizard, also a heavy character, can really pack a punch with those sweet spots on the forward tilt, the back air, all sorts of stuff. And they're fast, dude. They're one of the fastest characters in the game. So, so very fast. And I think that's something that a lot of people are like never uh, cognizant about. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Charizard is like faster than Pikachu fast. Yeah, uh, uh, in terms of run speed, yeah, Charizard is like I think top ten in the I, game. I think yeah, mistaken. he's he's like he's like seventh or eighth 
yeah, in terms of did. run speed, which is, is <laughs> kind of ridiculous given how big and heavy he is, but those are the uh -oh. facts for you. Uh -oh. yeah. oh, no! no! Okay. okay. <laughs> I thought we were about to see a repeat because you do not want to give Kazuya any sort of leeway like that. You want to try and hold on to the stock as much as possible because we've seen Kazuya delete stocks before. Rage Drive on the board. That's going to be about 50% put up. Very, very good start here. If they can find maybe uh, an EWGF into an F smash, if they catch uh, Sully DIing incorrectly, that could settle this stock here, but they're playing so carefully around these Vine Whips and these uh, Razor Leaves. They don't want to be hit by either one of them, but I don't think they have a choice when it really comes down to it. Uh, that's a tough spot to be. Wow, somehow finds a way back to ledge. Hello. Okay. <laughs> that was an option for sure. And I like how oh, they man. committed to it too. You know, they said, hey, I'm going to keep charging this because some people will just run into it. <laughs> and some people get down throat for the stock. Just. Beat his head into the stage and then pop him all the way up to the sky. Yeah, yeah, that was wow. um, yeah, that was that was definitely something. That was definitely something. So hey, great stuff though, to um, to Sully just really turning that around. I mean, because I know some players when they drop a stock like that that loses a game, it can really eat at them. But you know what? They said, hey, you know what? I made a small mistake. I'm gonna try and clean this up, and they certainly did that, taking the next two games to move on a bracket. So hey, congratulations. Yeah, absolutely. Just very, very solidly played all around. And I particularly loved how they played all three Pokemon. Uh, but Ivysaur obviously has to be my favorite. They were doing some crazy stuff with the Ivysaur. Like during game number two, when they mm. did that down throw, then they did full hop, fast fall, short hop, up air to bait out the air dodge oh, and get yeah. the kill with the up air. That was so incredibly cool. And that just shows like a level of mastery and a level of knowledge of opponent's habit, of what your own toolkit can do, and so many other things to all come together to get a really cool kill. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, Sully definitely had some great adaptations there, some great ways to pressure um, Ziglet when they could. But you know what? It is what it is. They got to move on to that bracket. We're going to be getting uh, someone else up here in a little bit. <laughs> someone else here in just a second. We will oh! be seeing shortly. And oh, it's your boy, Reggie Player 4, stepping up to the stage. One of my favorite favorite people in the scene one of my best uh commentary duos alongside you of course skiff uh and also one of the best peach players to ever do it you know uh, no reggie is definitely uh sick with it i mean there's just not a lot of ways around that definitely um a very very strong player so to see them participating in an arcadian speaks volumes about how strong your region is um because reggie impresses yeah. nice dude Reggie is is the reason they invented the term hidden boss. <laughs> I know, yeah. Like, like you, he, he's he's been doing it <laughs> with the best of the best for so very long up in Tri State, and just I I guess he's I I'm surprised to find out that he's never been ranked because he wouldn't be able to play in this Arcadian otherwise. But I guess that's the case. Hey guys, yeah, I mean, uh, Reggie has a message for y'all. Reggie. Reggie has a message for us. Okay. Yo, oh, check, God. check it. One, two. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah, we, we can, can hear you, Reggie. What's up, uh, Reggie? Uh, you know, I don't. I barely enter events, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, me I, too. I, this, this is the reason why I'm not ranked. Thanks for the free money, guys. <laughs> 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 All right, there we go. Hey, All right, Reggie, get on. That's messed up. Ban him right now. DQ. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little bit messed up. Yeah. It's, he's. You know what? He's been intentionally dodging oh. entering events through the the entire series of PR seasons just so that he could enter this one, one now and form the Arcadian. One big paycheck. That's what He's they're looking for. He's been after it the whole time. Hey, well, listen, I mean, even though they're playing here, right? I mean, they still got to go through some strong players. I mean, some strong players. So, like, it's not just going to be a walk in the park for Reggie. I certainly believe that they could go very well all the way or very close to it. But, like, it's not, gonna, it's not just going to be walking through Hang it. on. I got to give a quick little shout out to Reggie for repping the, the liquid parka. That is one of my favorite, like, jackets that we've ever released. And Reggie wears it pretty well, I got to say. He's looking fly. Hey, listen, uh, I got I got one of those, too. It, it's pretty nice. Actually, I just got my uh, Akatsuki stuff not too long ago. Ooh, man, let me tell you, Team Liquid knows how to do a collab.